Whispers of the Past. Chapter 3, Shadows of the Past. In the days following the whisper, Kira found herself drawn more and more to her grandmother's diary. It became her compass in navigating the uncharted territories of her family's past. The entries were detailed and vivid, painting a picture of a lineage steeped in spiritual practices and guardianship against unseen forces. Most captivating of all was the tale of an ancestor, a shaman renowned for their connection to the spirit world and their role in protecting the village from malevolent entities. As Kira delved deeper into the diary, she couldn't shake the feeling of being watched. The air in her apartment seemed charged, heavy with anticipation, as if the act of uncovering her family's secrets was awakening something long dormant. One evening, as she read by the light of a single lamp, the shadows in the corner of her room began to shift and twist. At first, Kira attributed it to the flickering light, but as she watched, the shadows seemed to take on a life of their own, coalescing into darker, more defined shapes before dissipating into the air. The following morning brought further disturbances. Objects related to the pendant, including the diary and an old photograph of her grandmother wearing the pendant, were found out of place. Kira was certain she had left the diary on her bedside table but it was now on the kitchen counter, open to a page she didn't remember reading. The photograph previously secured on the fridge with a magnet was found face down on the living room floor, several feet away. Ethan remained skeptical, suggesting logical explanations for each occurrence, drafts moving papers, the apartment settling causing vibrations that shifted objects. Yet, he couldn't hide his growing concern over Kira's distress, Maybe take a break from the diary, he suggested gently. It seems to be getting to you. But Kira felt an undeniable pull towards the mysteries the diary held. It was as if with every secret unraveled, the presence around her grew stronger, more insistent. She couldn't explain it, but she felt a connection to the shadows, to the unseen force that seemed to be making itself known through these unexplainable events. Determined to understand the nature of the presence and its connection to her family, Kira revisited the diary entries about her shaman ancestor. According to her grandmother, the shaman had been a guardian of their people, wielding ancient knowledge and rituals to commune with the spirits and protect the village from harm. It was said that the pendant had been a gift from the spirits, a symbol of the covenant between the physical and spiritual worlds. The realization hit Kira like a wave, the disturbances, the shadows, the feeling of being watched, could it be the spirits connected to the pendant, responding to her newfound awareness of her heritage? Was she, like her ancestor, being called upon to assume a role she had never imagined for herself? As night fell, Kira sat in the dimly lit room, the pendant warm against her skin, and the diary open in her lap. She spoke into the silence, a tentative greeting to the spirits of her ancestors, an acknowledgement of the legacy that was unfolding before her. The shadows seemed to pulse in response, a silent affirmation of the connection that bridged the centuries.